I think that I think that one of the problems that you have as as a researcher, with respect to your data and time, is that you're very much in the here and now. And for many researchers, not for all, but for many researchers, each project is a new project, and and you don't really see it as a longitudinal process into the future, that at some point you yourself may wish to come back and reuse data. Data reuse is often talked about as reuse by others, but it isn't necessarily the case that that's always, that will be your, your concern. Your concern may actually be going back to your old data and reusing it. And, and I, I have certainly accumulated, I accumulate over a period of about 20 years, longitudinal data sets without ever planning really to gather those, those data sets as such. And at, at a certain point, I wanted to go back and re-look at old data that, were, that had been gathered 10 and more years ago. And I had firmly in my head that those data existed, and actually an assumption in my head that I could, I could re re-read them, that I could recover them. And after many months of searching on old machines and in filing cabinet drawers, I sadly had to come to the conclusion that I had actually lost the data that predated the year 2000. And it wasn't a Y2K problem. It's just that I had never systematically ensured that I had gathered the copies and that I had actually turned the data into a readable format for now. So some of the old files that I was able to find was on proprietary software that I could no longer get hold of. Some of it was sitting on drives, zip drives of a kind that actually were unreadable now. And so as a consequence, just by accident and by forgetfulness, what was actually a 20, 20 year long longitudinal data set, if reconstructed and worked up, actually could not be reconstructed. And had I thought at a, consistently as I went through, what will happen to this data in a few years time? How will I ensure that I am able to go back to it later? I would have actually taken actions at those points, but of course you can't go back and, and, and rerun time. And, and each of those, um, each of those um, individual actions where I, I failed to maintain the integrity of the data over time were, were purely accidental. I just didn't think about it sufficiently carefully at that point. So I think that data management planning has certainly got an immediate consequence. How do I look after these data now and in the short term? But it does also make you think about how will these data continue to be available to me as well as to others into the future, or indeed to other members of a research group when I've left it.